Chapter 919. What are you? Fine then. I'll stop transforming. What's the big deal? The woman quickly turned back into the blurred shadow situated in the most secretive recess of the sky. A location above all else. Lee Kai was speechless after seeing the law transforming into so many different things. He felt a bit guilty after seeing this since he was the one who had corrupted the poor law. The law protecting the pond was created from the heaven and earth. It was the purest of laws, one without life or emotions. However, it was able to transform into all things, or at least take their forms. The blurred shadow asked, Oh right, how is that woman doing now? Li Kai looked at it with one eye and answered, What does it have to do with you? You are not a living being, so stop caring about other people's business. The blurred shadow quipped, Oh, so you broke up. What's wrong? Did that woman dump you? Look at your pitiful state. I must be right. But yeah, who would like a crow anyway? Li Kai angrily said, Fuck, since when did a lifeless thing like you gain such a big mouth? You are just like the gossipers outside. You love to babble on and on all the time. Babble my ass. The blurred shadow retorted with disdain. Who was the incessant one back then? Just babbling in my ears all day about Sewer and Denzana. You made me sick listening to it all the time. Li Kai frowned after hearing this. Fuck, I knew I shouldn't have told you all of those things. He he he, it is too late now. I already know so many of your secrets. The shadow said gloatingly. Li Kai gave it a look. I was only playing around with you. Besides, how could I actually tell you any secrets? Please, playing with me? I am the law of the heaven and earth and can derive all things with ease. The shadow asked. How can I not differentiate real stories from fake ones? Li Kai was slightly speechless. The opponent was not a living being or even an existence. It was just a universal law. However, the damn thing really knew how to banter. Its attitude was just like him in the past. This nearly made him vomit blood. The shadow said, Hey, I gave myself a couple of names. Tell me which one is the best. Why do you want a name? Your name is simply law. Li Kai answered. Never mind then. If you don't want to listen, don't come begging for me later. The shadow snorted with an arrogant demeanor that nearly drove Li Kai crazy. Fine, tell me then. Li Kai had no choice but to acquiesce. The shadow became spirited after finding a listener. There are a couple. Check them out. Sha K, Zen Kai, Mi K, Tu K, Zan Kai. Which one do you think is the best? After the shadow said more than ten names in one breath, Li Kai almost vomited blood again. None of them are you. You should just name yourself Kill Your Sister. Li Kai's face turned black. With that response, the shadow tilted its head and seriously pondered for a bit before continuing. I think it would be nice to call myself Dark Crow. That's my title. Li Kai snapped back. Plus, you are just a universal law. You want a name? How about my ass? Bah, who says I don't want a name? I am the greatest in this world, the one and only across all the eons, so naturally I would want a cool name. The shadow arrogantly declared, This immortal wants your name, from now on, I am Dark Crow. Okay, can we talk for real now? Li Kai felt helpless and weakly spoke, calling herself Dark Crow was only copying someone else. If you are the greatest in this world, wouldn't this be too shameful? Makes sense. The shadow thought some more, I am the greatest, so why should I share a title with you? Okay then, from now on, I am Zanzian. Why Zanzian? Li Kai curiously smiled. You said it before, in the ancient era, immortals were the only things in this world, they were above all else. It arrogantly proclaimed, Thus, I want to defeat and kill all immortals, hence the name Zanzian. Very catchy, great name. Li Kai immediately praised. No matter if it was the truth or just flattery, it was better than letting the shadow have the name Dark Crow. Li Kai thought that his prestige would be ruined otherwise. I know it is good. How could a name chosen by me not be good? The shadow laughed in a very narcissistic and arrogant manner. Li Kai chuckled and said, How is the thing in the lake? Are you up to no good again? The shadow immediately grew cautious and asked coldly after hearing this. A universal law should be without emotions. However, it had been influenced by Li Kai since he stayed here for a very long time in the past. It was even copying him to some extent. Nothing bad. Li Kai cheerfully smiled. The truth is that I stumbled upon some new findings recently. New findings? Not interested. The shadow replied. Plus, don't think that I don't know you are a bad person and have always been eyeing this place. Well, I won't deny that I'm interested in the thing inside. Li Kai smiled. That is not a secret or anything. Just let me do what I want and perhaps it will be beneficial for you too. What benefits? Don't try to bribe me. The shadow isn't very interested at all. If, say, the thing is completed, wouldn't you be free as well? Li Kai smirked. The shadow instantly became happy after hearing this. But afterward, it glared at Li Kai to say, Both you and I know that this is very difficult to accomplish. Don't try to trick me. I can guarantee you that it will definitely be successful this generation. Li Kai persuaded. However, I'm just missing a little bit. If I can get that other thing done, then I can do this as well. Ha ha, there's no need to tempt me. The shadow sneered. I know just what kind of person you are. You tricked me last time, so I'm not listening to your crap again. Li Kai didn't blush at all. He smiled and said, Yes, I tricked you last time, but technically, the thing inside already belongs to me since you lost, right? So what if it belongs to you? The shadow looked down on Li Kai. If I don't let you through, you wouldn't be able to take it even if it belongs to you. How should I put this? Even though this thing could be considered yours back then, it is still ultimately an item without a master. But you've been here for so long that it really should be yours. Do you not want it at all? Li Kai tried to persuade it again. The shadow spoke a lack of interest. Not interested. 
You're right about one thing. I'm not a human or an existence or anything at all for that matter. I'm just a universal law. What do I gain from obtaining it? Li Kai found this to be quite problematic. If it didn't bite no matter what, then all of his plans were done for. What do I have to do for you to let me through? Li Kai smiled. Because of our friendship, we don't have to fight till the sky collapses in this place, right? Sky collapses my ass. The shadow said with disdain. If I didn't want you here, I could teleport you away the moment you attack. Just like you said before, even immortal emperors can't do anything. Li Kai regretted telling this thing all of this information back then. Moreover, I have no emotions so we don't have any friendship to speak of. The shadow looked at Li Kai with one eye. The shadow's attitude left Li Kai helpless. He raised his hands and said, Okay, okay, I give up. Stay your conditions. If possible, I will meet all of your demands. You sure? The shadow immediately stared intensely at Li Kai. Li Kai was getting the willies from this lair. Fine, go for it. Li Kai said with a smile. The shadow's attitude resembled Li Kai very closely at this moment. It leisurely said, Well, my condition is very simple. You will stay here and keep me company like in the past and I'll let you through. That won't do. Li Kai shook his head. You are taking complete advantage of me. Plus, I am not the same as before. In the past, I had everlasting life. But if I get stuck here now, that means I will be completely screwed. Then forget it. I don't care. Don't even think about passing. The shadow sneered. Li Kai chuckled and said, You shouldn't say no so fast. How about this? To make things fair, we'll make a bet. If I lose, then I'll stay behind. If I win, you have to let me through. 